you're an old man who's never left home. Leave home. Come hear the call uh, call to the adventure. And I, I love when he's talking with Mary and she says, what are you going to do? So, well, first, I'm going to drop off my stuff at a friend's house. And then I'm thinking Greece. And she goes, I, I was hoping I was hoping you were going to say that. And so huh. he's got this zest for life again and the courage to leave the safe halls of Barton. And Mary, you know, the, the third part of the trio, which I think there, I think there's Mary is probably the one that you could spend the most time just detailing, just looking at. Um, and, and unfortunately, I, I, I didn't focus my attention on Mary, but the more I thought about it, I was like, Mary is actually a really pivotal character. And her son in this entire in this entire story is so Mary sees an opportunity in her sister's pregnancy to direct her grief to a constructive end and help her niece or nephew, whichever one's coming, have a better outcome than her son. And I, I will say is like uh, God does this all without one mention of God. Uh, you got to, <laughs> to use the line from there, and say, I say much like the Book of Esther. God is on every single page, but is not an actual character in the story. Um, hmm. He, but and this is the main thing is like he is directing all things for good. And it's the, the crazy thing, like I said, Christmas is an essential character in this story because if it wasn't for Christmas, there's no holiday break. There's no there, there's none of this this stuff that's going on. And it's the occasion that brings this trio together uh, at, at the end of the day.